morning, good afternoon and good evening to you whenever and wherever you're watching this. My name is Nate, I'm part of the youth and children's team here at Holy Trinity and I'm bringing you uh, today's devotional uh, and that is on Luke 4 verses 42 to 44 and it reads like this. Early the next morning Jesus went out to an isolated place. The crowd searched everywhere for him and when they finally found him they begged him not to leave them. But he replied, I must preach the good news of the kingdom of God in other towns too, because it is why I was sent. And so he continued to travel around, preaching in synagogues throughout Judea. And so when I was reading through this, when I was reflecting on this and praying about this, I really felt like God was laying two, two things on my heart, two challenges. And the first one was, how are, how are we spending our time uh, with God? And when I say we, I mean you and I separately. Um, how are you engaging with him? How are you valuing his presence? Um, I love being up early in the morning before people start getting up, walking through the park. Um, just the peace that you that you feel, um, the fresh air, um, and just the, the calmness, the stillness. Um, and spending time with God in those times, it's just, it, it's just amazing. Um, and so the first challenge was, how are you doing that? How are you um, spending time with him? How are you valuing his presence? And it might not be getting up in the morning, because um, that may seem ridiculous to you, but how are you spending time with him? How are you valuing that time in your day-to-day -day life? Um, and secondly, how are you preaching that? Um, in the, in the passage, it, it, Jesus says that he must go to other towns to preach um, the good news of the kingdom of God. Um, so how are you doing that? Um, so if we look at how Jesus did it, he, he went from uh, temple, synagogue, um, huge crowds, um, but also something that's massive, I think. Um, and in fact, you know, we're called to be like him is his character. It's his, his demeanor, the way he acts, the way he talks. Um, the way he responds to others. Um, and so, we, as I say, we're called to be like him. Um, and there's obviously meaning behind that um, because our actions are influential are influential on other people. Um, the way that we act, the way that we speak. Um, I'm sure parents, you know, you notice it with your kids, they will grow up and often they will act and talk like you. Um, and so 1 Corinthians 13, it says, if I could speak all the languages of earth and angels, but didn't love others, I would only be a noisy gong or clanging cymbal. And it's that kind of, that, that repetition, isn't it? It's if, if I do all of the things, if I can talk with my mouth, but I don't love others, I'm, I'm nothing but noise. Um, and so to give a, a, a bit of a practical example to this, um, I love driving. Um, I love I love cars. Um, I have a 1993 MX-5, uh, which is little red sports cars for non-car people. Um, and I'm sure you've experienced if you drive um, road rage at times at people for doing silly things. Um, and when I say that, I count myself in those silly things. I'm by no means the perfect driver. And I'm sure I aggravate a lot of people, um, but. For me, being on the road um, and learning to be forgiving and uh, understanding of people's actions, it's been a long but steep learning curve. Um, by the grace of God, it's got much better. Um, instead of now aggressively shouting or under my breath saying things or going past giving them a really judging look, um, I'm now just at peace about it. You know, things happen um, and. I've tried to emphasize that in my in my lifestyle as well is is instead of getting angry at something actually look at the bigger picture and think um, why is that happening and and I'm sure in fact no I'm, I'm positive that when people look at our lifestyles they see the way we act the way we respond to things and that's why having a character that resembles Jesus is so important because it's that influence you're having on that person you know if they see that you're living differently um, 
they, they might ask questions and, and that's not because you've shoved a Bible down their throat, that's because they're seeing that there's something different about you. Um, people pay attention to the way that we act, the way that we live our day-to-day -day lives. Um, you know, it's the small acts of kindness and the compassion and love that's noticed. Um, it's planting seeds, that, you know, God might only use you as an influencer or a messenger um, and not as the preacher that you think of as the of as the front of church. Um, you could just be a small influential um, nourishment on the seed that's growing in them that God's planted. Um, and we always need to be ready for conversations and ready uh, for prayer for those around us. But it's it's being um, character aware. It's being character um, conscious, as it were. And and. The more we dig into the Bible, the more we become like Jesus. The more we pray, the more we become like Jesus. Um, and so, uh, as, as a way of reflecting on that for yourselves, I recommend listening to the song by uh, for King and Country called "The Proof of Your Love." Um, it's a brilliant song. They're a brilliant band. Um, if you have time to check out their other songs, they are um, amazingly good. Um, but yeah, so that challenge of, of character of living like Jesus uh, and being a, an influence to others, a positive influence. Um, so let me pray um, and then you can enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, so Lord, I pray for each person that receives this, Lord. I pray that they would receive your spirit, they would receive the, the gifts of the spirit in their life. I pray that they would live with your love at the centre. I pray that uh, they would focus on you uh, that you would come and you would meet them wherever they are at and they would just receive your your spirit, your presence um, wherever they choose to meet you and I pray as well Lord that your character would uh, be so evident in their life uh, your light would shine from them like a beacon, like a lighthouse um, but a lighthouse that guides people into the harbour uh, into you, into your loving arms, into your embrace. And I thank you, Lord, that you love us so much that you want this for us, that you want a relationship with us, and that you want to be with us. In your name, amen.